tell to be stealthy while car camping. So I always try to look unassuming and I just kind of look around before I get to my car. I always start in the driver's side. So if anyone's walking by, because you know, you don't want people to think you live in your car because there's a stigma and you know, some people might get suspicious and tell a cop or something or, or you know, so it's just, it's good to stay stealth. It's also good for your own safety because if people know you live in a car, then you're kind of an easy target. Since I would be camping in here, I would just crawl back through there. Another way to be stealth is to have a small car or a non-van car because vans are kind of obvious. They, a lot of people associate any van with like van lifers or, or if someone sees a, like one of those white work vans, they get suspicious because there's the whole, you know, strangers in vans will give you candy and abduct you, you know, so, and that's, that's also, you know, a thing. You know, I'm not trying to dismiss people's experiences, but yeah, so it's just good to stay stealthy. Always go somewhere that you know you're allowed. Try not to make a whole lot of noise and try not to be like obvious. And unless you're at a campground or hanging out at a park, I would avoid like setting up a little kitchen outside of your car. Like another thing is don't make your car too noticeable. Like if you want to live in a vehicle or do van life, when you get a real flashy car, it's going to make you stand out and, you know, it's just not as good for safety. There's also the leave no trace rule, which is very important. You don't want to make it look like anyone has been camping in a spot. Don't leave trash. Pick up after yourself. Another stealth tip is always have window coverings so people can't see inside. That's it for this mini videos. Subscribe for some more quick mini content about car camping and all kinds of stuff.